Hi, welcome to State of the Art. I'm Tom Rubel, Executive Director of the Morgan Arts Council. And today I'm joined by Marilee Mojica. Marilee is the curator of our current show, which is called Our Voices, Perspectives of Women. Welcome, Marilee. Thank you, thank you. Uh, tell me, uh, first of all, a little bit about yourself. Because I always sort of ask, you know, how do people wind up at the Ice House and our planet of Berkeley Springs? And uh, so how did you come to know us? I um, was visiting a friend in town who lives here in Berkeley, in Berkeley Springs. I believe that I met um, Hiroko, who is the wife of the manager, the, who, the person that manages the Ice House. Our gallery curator. Right. Already, right. Um, and so she mentioned that sometimes they allow outsiders to show. And so I approached Eddie and he said yes. And my idea was to put together a group of women from diverse backgrounds mm -hmm. um, who all had the same voices that mm -hmm. we want. They wanted their art seen and heard, and mm -hmm. they wanted their art to tell stories. That's how we got here. Um, well, there are no outsiders, so okay. welcome. Thank you. Um, yeah, we have a lot of, uh, put together a lot of diverse shows throughout the year, just mm -hmm. different perspective, different art forms. Um, when you say um, their voice, do the, is there a singular voice to the show? If you had to, if, as you look, as once you put the artist mm -hmm. together and once you hung the pieces and, and put it together, uh, what's the loudest voice you've, you seek in the show right now? I, um, all the women ha work in different mediums and they are all very authentic in their own way, but the voice is the same in terms of we are women artists mm -hmm. who have stories to tell. I think the way the show is together, it attracts everyone because of the colors. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a very bright, it's a very vibrant show. Um, and I could say that all the women are aiming to, to pull the viewers in with whatever it is that they're presenting. For me personally, I paint women. Mm -hmm. I am a figurative artist and my parents being from Puerto Rico has obviously had an influence in me because of color. Mm -hmm. So my paintings are very colorful, but they always tell a story. You have to look at each one to be able to tell um, what the story is. Like the main pic um, that's in the invite is called Friendship, and it's about two women from diverse backgrounds mm -hmm. in a friendship. Um, that's my angle. Um, what about some of the other artists? Kiana here? Clark's art is very strong in terms of color, and it comes from a very African American perspective. So mm -hmm. her her women are warriors in a way, you know. Um, Marcy paints women. She's an encaustic painting, and although all the women are nude, they're not vogue paintings. They're not pornography. It's basically vulnerability that you see in her work. Julia Vallejo paints very large. And, and her, her purpose is for you to obviously see something powerful when you see it because yeah. it's, it's in such a large scale. Uh -huh. So each woman is, is, is bringing something different, but we're all bringing a unity to what our... Um, there's Rachel Clark who um, does sculpture art and she does what our goddesses and she believes that every woman is a goddess. And so she does these beautiful goddesses with um, found, found, found objects. Um, they're really beautiful assemblage pieces. And then there is Jane Petty, and she's a sculptor, mosaic artist. I do ragdolls, so they're my ragdolls of Frida Kahlo. And then there's Norma Jean. Norma makes baskets. Mm -hmm. baskets. I saw those. Yeah, those are really interesting, the way she puts them together with coil and fabric. And, and she basically picks fabrics from different parts of the world. So uh -huh. they're very ethnic in her way. Um, I'm excited about having all the women in the show. Great. I really am. Thank you. Great. Have you curated before? Absolutely not. <laughs> How did it feel? I mean, what, did anything surprise oh you God. as you Yes, were... that it's a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Um, it's almost scary, but, but interesting to do. I have done other things. I'm, I live in Washington, D.C., although I'm originally from New York. Mm -hmm. I've done other things with restaurants in the area of Washington, D.C., and maybe Virginia, Maryland, but nothing to the scale where you get 16 women to join you to come to, with you to another state and, mm -hmm. and exhibit. So I'm very proud of this. I'm very excited about this, and I'm hoping that the opening is, well, I know the opening is going to be a success. 
there's no way to avoid that. It's nice. If you had it to do over again, would you have done anything differently? I probably would be a little bit more prepared. <laughs> um, like I said, I didn't expect that it was going to be this much work. I would still choose this avenue, mm -hmm. you know, and, and the same group of women that I chose. Mm -hmm. Love the way it has come together. Mm -hmm. um, so you're an artist. How long have you been an artist? All your life? I've, or? Uh, I, I wish. I have been painting for almost 22 years, mm -hmm. but it's only been the last four or five years that I've actually started to exhibit. And most of it was in my house, on my walls, under my bed, in my closet. I mean, you've always been in the art world, I guess. Is right. What and I and I'll probably stay in the art world, but I don't know if I'm aiming for a career as a curator. I want to thank the Ice House for having us. We're thrilled that you've put this together. I look thank forward you. to the opening tonight. Mm -hmm. I encourage everybody to come if you see this in time. Otherwise, uh, the show runs through September 8th, mm -hmm. I believe. So come to the Ice House, see this beautiful collection of art from a unique perspective, the, mm -hmm. the voices, uh, the perspectives of women, and, and you will get a sense of one voice. So until next time, I'm Tom Rubel. This is State of the Art, and thank you for tuning in.